We hope that you've enjoyed this program and that you've found it enlightening. Perhaps it will have motivated you to act on the information within. A couple of extra notes worth mentioning. There is a very distinct possibility that the United States will respond in a very devious and violent nature against those who wish for independence here in Hawaii. It wasn't so long ago that an incident occurred in Panama where an, an officer of the U.S. military was shot and killed supposedly by Panamanian military forces. It was the death of that individual that motivated the invasion of Panama and ultimately the killing of thousands of Panamanians. Coincidentally, the United States was nearing its time to relinquish control of the Panama Canal to the Panamanians, which of course it had no desire to do. So when we think about the reality of the hundreds of billions of dollars that stand to be lost in revenue from the Hawaiian Islands, but more importantly, the military strategic value that the United States is using Hawaii for to dominate the rest of the world, it is just a little bit frightening to think about what the United States can and will do to stop this effort for independence and justice. If they're able to invade a nation such as Panama over the death of one individual, it is very possible that they will create an incident here in Hawaii, perhaps a terrorist action, or the killing of a military person here as well, and use that as an excuse to use their military forces to quell and destroy the movement for independence here. I am personally aware of many individuals in Puerto Rico, a territory of the United States, 15 individuals to be exact, who had spent 14 years in prison for the charge of seditious conspiracy. Those same charges could be brought against myself or others within the movement, and we may very well end up in prison. There are many ways the United States could thwart this effort, and the only way that they will be able to do so is if the world allows it to happen. So this final message is an appeal to the conscience once again of all those watching to please not ignore what happens here in Hawaii. If you think once again that it won't impact you, please understand that it could very well. In fact, it will impact you eventually. What happens here is in the interests of everybody. And if justice is served, the world may very well indeed move in the right direction. It is my sincere hope, along with the Universal Kinship Society, that we do indeed do the right thing here in Hawaii. The time has come to move on in a better way for all. Let it start here. In ending our Hawaii, Senator Kaka, do you have any questions of me? <laughs> Okay, we've heard you for a long time now about what you believe that have happened. Amen. Our thrust here is to the future of our life. To the future, as you know, Richard, the world is changing. What's going to happen to our Hawaiian children as the world changes? Are we going to leave them where they are? Well, we're going to try to cocoa and help them so they can help themselves. This is a trust. We are setting up a process with this bill to look into, into, into a future self-determination. This bill is not to, to determine what we're going to do. This sets up a process for us to do it. That's what it does. The hard work is yet to come. And what's going to happen to what's best for the Hawaiians? i got to tell you now, I don't think I'll be alive. That's how long it's going to take. But to kill it now, kill it. to kill the hopes. I thank you very much for your response. I... Thank you.
Madam, you will sit down immediately or you'll be 